Hello, hello everybody, it's for Prof Chalf and we're back again with another Worst Internet Gun Fails. I miss this series a lot, but I'm usually kind of afraid going back to it because, well, I mean, it has guns in it, but usually Brandon Herrera is pretty good at censoring the stuff, so let's check it out, YouTube. We good? We good? Nothing bad well, happens, you okay? The series, Professionals in the video. Absolutely. First of all, hi there. Hello. The Darwin Awards is a series where we Too look bad at videos you can of ban? doing yeah. stupid stuff with guns and or explosives and kind of use it as a teachable moment. Yes. Some of the videos you're about to see, of Educational. course, result in injury and such, but we do censor it to make sure that it's still, you know, YouTube friendly. Yes. It's not like these stay monetized anyway, but you know what the heck. Damn. Now, this video went super viral and literally hundreds of you guys sent this in to me, so let's take a look. You is that a golden e deagle in the back? Uh, flexing with a gun for social media. Oh, that, yeah, that, oh, that please don't be too bad. Don't, so no heads off, please. So it starts with her racking the slide of the gun, chambering uh -huh. around, holding it against her head. Yeah. And then... Wait, okay. First off, nothing happened. YouTube, absolute professional. This was a stunt. That was not a real gun, okay? Second off, why would you ever do that? Bruh. And then that. And nothing happened, YouTube. Just like some construction work. Yes, construction work. Absolutely. Man, she we're into the four rules of basic gun done. safety really early this episode. I don't know. Delance, if you could put that up on screen, please. There are four major rules of gun safety, and she violated gun. Okay, three. never point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. Yeah. Uh, keep your fingers off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Yup. I, I learned all these when I went to shoot a couple of times, Rob. You don't point your gun at anything you're shoot not stuff. willing to destroy. It's fun. It's you fun. Finger it's really off fun. the trigger until you're ready to shoot, and you treat every gun as if it's yes. loaded. And of course, the fourth rule is, you know, be sure of your target and what's behind it. See, the neat part about those rules is that you usually have to violate more than one to have a bad accident. Yeah. Wait, holy shit, I never watched this far. Uh, I just realized there's a little curl at the bottom of the frame. Oh my god. What's so... This is probably the big sister, and after this, she's gonna be the big sister, because she's gonna disappear. What the fuck? Why are you trying to be a gangster on social media, waving a loaded gun around next to what I'm assuming is your daughter or little sister or something? Yeah, that's weird. We do not have a gun problem Gangsta. in this country. We have a crippling culture problem. Anyhow, I hope. Or just call it an idiot problem. She didn't but have the lock could just had that. Okay. That bullet could have hit. We don't have guns so much. And I am glad she's okay. But I hope that stylish new haircut from that bullet <laughs> raise is enough to remind her. Uh, maybe be safe with firearms. How much did that cost? Just a nine mil. Wait. All right. So just with the first frame. It was very silent, but maybe it's because of the video. This video, oh, we got another one. Good. So we've got two wannabe gangsters flexing their shit tier bunch hey. of guns, acting hard like they know what to do with them. They don't. But That's let's a lot of guns, though. This genius decides to draw his shitty AR pistol using wait, AR print. pistol. The fucking trigger. And bang. Wait. Yeah. Keep your finger off I the trigger. Or listen, first off, that was very close to the boss. Like, you could have been no longer a man. Homeboy got you could have been to the trans rallies after this, this was shit, brother. Two different kinds of Darwin Awards. God damn! One, he almost blew off the twig and berries, which removes yes. you from the gene pool for obvious reasons. Good reasons. Two, I mean, he probably shouldn't. You know, so close to being a thigh shot. If homie wasn't so good at skipping leg day, that could have easily been a life-threatening femoral bleed. God, which damn. by the way is why it's stupid when you hear people say, "Oh, you don't have to kill him; just shoot him in the legs." Guess what? Your upper legs are densely packed with a bunch of shit that likes- A lot of muscles, a lot of blood. You know what muscles need? They need blood. And your biggest muscle, well, you to know. spew out life juice much faster than most people can stop it. Yeah. You get a good hit to the femoral artery and you probably have less than a minute done. to stop that bleed before you pass out. Probably less than three before you fucking die. Carl, that yeah, kills man. people! Chocolate See, would be- Wait, yeah, wait, wait what, was that? what was that? What was that? What was that? The convention will never be on. You have to teach the police how to use because it's a bad thing. First thing you gotta do is shoot. You should do it. That was the one thing. Okay. Oh, that kills people. So yeah, he's probably lucky to just got a slight burn and destroyed whatever knockoff designer jeans he had instead of repainting the kitchen floor of whatever family member's house he's crashing at. Now this is normally the part where I'd say that you know clips like this usually cause people anxiety, obviously do because they? of the subject matter. And to combat that, you should probably try one of our great sponsors, like oh, Canada God CBD. Oh damn it! Let's be fucking wrong. Oh. Well, you'd be right. We are sponsored by Canada Dips, but it's their new blends. Oh gosh. Done wrong. I mean, it's kind of. Oh brother, I hate these videos. Why do they do that? I've seen so many of these. Of the Where they go like do 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 do. But here in this oh, clip, shit. we have a guy who has a. Bro, I'm sweating. Hey, no don't look at that. And he's gonna be shooting a full lot of shit. I'm kind of hot, but because culturally, they don't that's pick just up your what arms. you do, I guess. Oh shit! Now, of course, shooting up in the air isn't really safe because you know those bullets have to land somewhere. Sure but shit. But this guy's bullets are gonna land a little closer than you think. 
Your mama. Mm. Brother. 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 Almost gives the crowd a fucking haircut there. Mm. I can't tell if that dude. Why did they celebrate? Like After this, they need to hang you. Straight up, I'm sorry, but that needs to happen. You need to be done. You need to die. You tried to murder 50 people. Hey, what the fuck, bro? Or just like, oh, okay, we didn't get shot. This is dope. Yeah. And of course, he finishes out the match because, you, you know, he's, oh he's my not a quitter. God, we're you celebrating. Yeah, guns up in the air, bad idea. Now, if that clip yeah, made let's your go asshole down. pucker, go ahead and subscribe. This is actually the 10th Darwin right? Awards video we've done here on the channel. So if you guys want to check out the rest of them, go ahead and click the link down in the description. I'll go ahead and put the playlist up. Yeah, there. I've seen most but of them. Some of them have been a little question markish. the next one. Assuming we you don't took, you get know. a strike for this one, which is not impossible. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, here's a clip I've been waiting I mean, to show you guys more for of them, a so long he's time. Fine. <laughs> Judging by the color scheme, I'm assuming this is probably a Little Caesars. And we have this gentleman fiddling Caesar. around in his pocket waiting for his pizza. I wonder oh, where this could be. Oh, God. Please don't. It is a negligent discharge. Brother. What is... What do you mean? You just shot a gun. What do you mean? Hey, they just lost something. My job, my keys. Is that my grenade? Playing this off. It just kind of has that nervous laughter, like he just ripped a giant fart in church. What was that? I, I have no clue. What could it have been? I have no clue. These laughs are super creepy too. Bro, I'd be running and calling the police straight up. Fuck you. Did you slam the door? I'm guessing so. Alright. This dude totally knows what's up. Yeah, I mean he's not calling Everybody knows what's up, but what are you gonna say? And he's a crazy person with a gun there. Calling him on it directly, but yeah. He, knows he knows. Yeah, but after just awkwardly standing around for a minute like he didn't just put a fucking hole in their floor, uh he grabs his pizza and promptly please. I just call him now, the of police. course I don't know what he was carrying, but if he's carrying in his pocket, it's probably something like one of those little pocket revolvers or something. Which leads me back to what I mentioned in our previous video. Which is I fucking hate these little pocket guns. I hate pocket carry like this. Especially if you don't have the trigger guard completely covered. We're dudes. We got nothing to do. We put our hands in our pockets. True. We fidget with shit when we're bored. True. Just so happens that this guy was fidgeting with a fucking loaded gun. Again, this is why you fidget with your dick, brother. It ain't gonna pop off randomly, hopefully. That's be random. He doesn't That'd be weird. To hit himself but, at all. You know, Otherwise, I feel like he'd be a lot more stressed and a little bit, you know, more obviously hurt. Bleeding, I just probably. hope you learned a valuable lesson from this, and hopefully he tipped well, and maybe left a business card for a for a good tile guy. <laughs> now I'm gonna warn you. This one is gonna look graphic as oh, fuck. Oh God! It's not as bad as it looks, and I'll explain that in a second. Oh but God! But he's on the Darwin Awards, so it, it still is bad. So let's take a look. Uh, so this guy over here on the right is passing over what looks to be a handgun uh -huh. to the gentleman in the yellow shirt. All right. What do you do when a stranger hands you a gun? Don't. Well, he immediately racks the slide, points it at his head. Hey, yo, brother! No, 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 no. And yeah. Somehow managing to violate all of the rules of gun safety at once. Did oh, there wasn't a bullet in the gun. There wasn't a bullet. YouTube did it paid professionals. Treat the gun like it was loaded. Didn't keep his finger off the trigger. Pointed it at something he probably wasn't willing to destroy and did not give a fuck about his target or what was behind it. However, as bad as it looks, our guy is okay. I mean, he's clearly distraught and, you know, not having a good fucking time. That's I wonder for sure. what happened, actually. But he just took a handgun to the brain basket. What, what, what's going on here? So based Did on what he? little background I have on this video here, this was most likely a blank firing gun. Okay. Either that or some... First off, what I've learned from blanks is you shouldn't do this because there was an actor, I don't remember his name, blown off fucking the 70s or 80s that did the same shit, but he actually blew like a four inch hole inside of his brain. He died like three or four days later. So if it's blank, it doesn't mean it's not fucking dangerous, okay? It's got gases inside of it. They try to go through a little small tube and they expel shit at a high fucking... Force. Some Don't sort of do that. Pistol, it's dangerous. Like a rubber projectile, it's something dangerous. that's made to be non-lethal. If I had to put my money on it, I'd say a blank just because of the confidence of which he chambered it and yeah, doinked. What people don't understand about blanks is that while you don't have the projectile, you know, the, the literal bullet that goes out the barrel and hits the target, yeah. what you do have is the gunpowder, which is made to propel a projectile. Yes. When there's no projectile and you press it against something, guess what? That thing becomes the projectile. Which is why even though there's no bullet, blanks and blank firing guns are still not toys. 
just ask Alec Baldwin. What? Luckily, from what I've seen, is that the one I was totally talking about? Okay, and survive this with Maybe. nothing more than a banger of a fucking headache. I mean, but you know these non. Listen, he deserves it. You are an absolute moron. You deserve all the best. Or blank firing guns, Idiot. weapons, whatever, are pretty common in a lot of parts of the world. For example, our next clip, which looks oh, to be a Russian God. gentleman explaining oh, how handgun works, and oh, then doing an oopsie. А так, ну, чего у всякие извлечь, Окей, listen, brother, it's gonna go to the beat. Ты чё, давай, и получается, hey, it's the end, you see, no, boom, boom. Ой, давай. Ой, that was a real grenade, he was... <laughs> I like those meme videos like this one where it just ends just, just shy. But as we've shown in past episodes of Darwin Awards, over there in Russia, hey? they got a bunch of, you know, like mock hand grenades and things for paintball, airsoft. That was what that was, so it's right? It's a real grenade with explosives sure. and fragmentation yes. built into YouTube? it that, you know, is meant to kill people. It's more just a mock-up, like a flashback. Yeah. So at the end of the day, while it might look kind of crazy, it's really no more dangerous than me doing Ah, it makes, okay, it just makes a loud. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, YouTube, he did not blow himself up. Trust. <laughs> Let me go put out that little fire real quick. <laughs> Man, it takes a lot to feel these days. Anyhow, on the note of me doing dumb shit for YouTube, this episode of Darwin Awards, we actually have a bonus clip. This time, the idiot who almost removed himself from the gene pool was... was me. What? If you're a subscriber, you of course know I'm talking about... the pipe gun. The pipe? Oh on. god, what is- oh my- what is that? What is that Fallout 4 gun? Well, I mean, it shot... somewhere? Definitely not breast milk. This pipe gun, to be exact. So at time of recording, about two months ago, we did a video trying to recreate the wacky improvised pipe gun that was used to kill former Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that video got us a strike. But it also did inspire this cool-ass t-shirt. You can ban bullets, but you can't ban... My boss. My balls. But if you want to check these out, maybe get one for yourself, I'll leave the links down in the description. The t-shirt or the gun? I don't want the gun. The gun exploded, brother. I don't want that shit. And in the pin comment. <laughs> Well, the thing about my pipe gun is that we went a little bit bigger, both in uh -huh. the diameter of the tube and size of the charge. Hey, uh, yo. Probably pour a cup a little more in just for good measure. It blew up. <laughs> and a lot of you guys did call me out saying that this is something that I would include of someone else on Darwin Awards, so True. I better not be a hypocrite. Well, I, I that was pretty things. stupid. Sober is not one of them, and neither is being a hypocrite. So I did know going in on this bit that this was definitely a possibility. That's why I didn't want to be holding it when it went off. So much like the- Yeah, my main question is why didn't he make a longer string and be further away from the actual explosion? Original Japanese one, this one was electrically fired using a battery. However, I ah. did this remotely instead of actually holding it. Unfortunately, the length of pre-cut wire that we brought out there to the range ah. was shorter than Tom Cruise without platform shoes, so I was a little closer than I would have liked to be. <laughs> Thankfully, I've done this shit a time or two, so I knew that if it was going to fail, it was going to fail from the cap in the opposite direction that the projectiles were being forced because... Smart. Well, physics. So that's why the barrel I was hiding behind was offset to the side. Mm. Plus, shrapnel from something like this is not really aerodynamic and has way less penetrating power than, I mean, say, a bullet. You don't have that much shrapnel because there's no small parts, I imagine, so... So this the barrel is just I big was using to recover probably would have been together. plenty effective at stopping shrapnel had any gone in my direction, which thankfully it didn't. But like all the clips, there is a lesson to be learned here. Like I said in the now... Don't make guns sent video, home and blow don't shit up. try this stuff at home. Even though everything we're going to be doing today is 100% legal under American law, you still shouldn't do it because it's sketch as hell and a genuinely bad idea. Uh -huh. All jokes aside, I am literally a professional. Which not only means that I have a team and experience to reduce my risk of getting killed doing this shit, but also that I get paid okay. to do it. It's literally my living. Think of me I mean, as yeah, like a stuntman. True, it, it, to be a professional, it doesn't actually take much. Just like, you get paid for something, you're kind of technically a professional at that, right? That is not some super safe shit I would ever do out on the range for fun, and you shouldn't either. So don't try to do what I do at home. Trust me, it's not worth the Darwin Award. Mm. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for. This episode's Darwin Award winner. Oh, yes, shit. Yes, this guy does actually win. Oh, I'm afraid a you're too Darwin Awards, professional. So even though it's not graphic, if that thought bothers you, I would recommend clicking away now. 
Okay, so now that the decent folk have left, and it's just you and me, <laughs> the, uh, the degenerate bunch. Let's check out what's going on in Phoenix, Arizona. So, our from the first go. frame, we have a oh, man God, on the left, who, for the record, is legally carrying a firearm. On the being left. harassed and challenged to a fight by the gentleman on the right. Well, let's see what happens. Get down! Put your fucking hands up, pussy. Put your fucking hands up, pussy. Get down. Okay, listen. If somebody has a handgun or any type of gun, it could be a foot gun, you probably should not try to fight them with your fists. Okay? Down. Put your gun fucking wins that hands shit. Up, pussy. Put the fucking gun down and scrap like a man, bitch. So this is about five o'clock in the morning, and the guy who wants a battle drunk as fuck. is yelling at the gentleman who has the gun to put the gun down. If you're ever in this situation, never put the gun down. If someone's I mean, trying to assault- First off, if you pull the gun out of the holster, it's already done. Like, at that point, you should already, you, you know what's gonna happen. Like, only one thing can happen unless the dude immediately runs away. And, yeah. You remember, you're the one who brought the gun. Yeah. This guy's acting super tough, calling him a pussy and a bitch. He even took his hoodie off to show that he means business. But even though the gentleman with the gun keeps backing away and instructing him to get down and clearly trying to leave the confrontation yeah. by backing up. Keeps stepping up. Muhammad Ali Not decides smart. that he wants to try his luck. Put your now it's hard to tell exactly where he was shot, but it only took it looks one like the shot. leg. He sweeps the muzzle down as he's pulling the trigger, so it's really kind of hard to tell. Could have been that one. Could have been the hip. We were talking about. Yeah. God damn. But depending on it, could have either been you know a. Why are you such a mom? Why would you do this? Shot, he must have been drunk or on drugs. Are capable of potentially dropping somebody in one shot. Of course, it doesn't always, but it definitely can. But all of a sudden, our instigator doesn't sound so tough. No. Nah. Now, in case you're curious, here's a little background that I found on the okay, internet. Okay, I mean, what, do you, what are you supposed to do? You, you probably, as the dude that shot him, you should probably, if you're doing the best thing for yourself, you should probably try and stop the bleeding and actually keep the dude alive, right? Like, go and try and help him do first aid, call uh, paramedics and shit, right? That's probably what you're supposed to do if, unless you want to go to prison. Incident that appears to be correct. So the attacker and our gun-carrying defense dispenser yeah. here apparently knew each other. Oh. Long story short, they used to be neighbors. The oh. attacker went to rehab, started accusing the oh. other guy of stealing shit, was throwing rocks through his windows, whole nine yards. The defensive shooter here moved away and got a restraining order. But mm -hmm. the attacker started stalking him, and during this altercation, uh, supposedly he had a knife sticking out of his waistband. Oh, now, shit. Now, our gun-carrying American here was not having any of that bullshit. And when the crazy dude refused to back away and started to attack, that's when our boy here did what he had to do, which was to dispense a single 115-grain Darwin Award at approximately 1,200 feet per second. God damn! The Darwin Award here should be pretty obvious. If you have two brain okay, cells, okay, did he survive? Together, he probably survived YouTube. Don't attack don't a guy with a gun. Educational video, don't by the way. Fists to a gunfight. In fact, just don't get into any unnecessary fights. Yes. Period. Listen, fights on the street, dumb as hell. If you want to fight, go to a gym, boxing, MMA, white tie, whatever the fuck, and spar with people. You have gloves on. If you fall down, you're not going to break your head. It's educational. You learn shit. You learn how much you cannot fight because you probably can't unless you've trained. It's like everything else. Especially just Trust. Don't fucking attack a guy with a gun. Yeah, De-escalate yeah. the situation. Let cooler heads prevail. And you might just walk away without being the recipient of a Darwin Award. Without having to hobble away. Okay, I don't know. Anyhow, guys, I, hope I don't know why, but that's kind of funny to me. Like, <laughs> he was so tough for that. Anyway, go stop the pleading, call the paramedics, and fucking save the dumbass dude so you don't go to prison, okay? Okay, we're gonna stop the video here because, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Should we check out the next one? Hopefully, this has no problems with you. Everything was censored, everything was fine. YouTube professionals. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.